Hello everyone, my name is Amber, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a bit of a different video. It's about 9am on Monday morning. I've got the day off work, thankfully, because today marks the start of my moving vlog. Just to give you a bit of background in case you haven't been keeping up or you've missed some of my videos. Basically, we are in the middle of a house purchase and our rental property, the lease has run, up, run out now or is running out this week. And we still don't have dates signed or exchanged for the house purchase. So we're going to have to go and stay elsewhere for hopefully just a couple of weeks. We're hoping to complete on the 2nd of October. I don't know what you call a completion day in your country, but here it's when we get the keys to the house. But before then, we need to move all of our stuff into storage and then just take a couple of suitcases with us to where we're staying next. So I'm going to get started on that today. I'm going to give you a quick like tour of the house at the moment because it's kind of in a state, but I want to show you or document uh, how it looks at the moment. So I've already disassembled my bookshelves, put a few things away, but nothing is in storage yet. So we're going to do some of that today. And then throughout the week, I will keep giving you updates until moving day. We are moving out of here on the 18th, which is Friday. So five days from now, because we then have to get cleaners in for the kitchen and the bathroom. And we need all of our stuff out to be out of here by then so we can tidy the rest of the rooms and hopefully get our whole deposit back. So it's a bit of a juggle or juggling act to get everything done, but I think I can do it. I'm not feeling too bad about having to stay somewhere else for a couple of weeks until we purchase our house. I am a bit worried it's going to drag on for a month or so, but I think the main thing that's worrying me right now is COVID. If we go into another lockdown i'm worried that the estate agents will all close again and we won't be able to move in at all until that lockdown is over so that's the main thing that's worrying me right now and it's another reason that we're trying to push our sellers sellers to complete as soon as possible because they're the ones who are being slow because we're worried about another lockdown sorting out the house and moving things is kind of calming me down because i feel like i'm making progress so i'm going to finish my coffee and then i'll show you around so you can see what the house looks like now okay so we're going to start off in the bedroom our main bedroom because that's where a lot of our clothes still are and I need to pack some away and also put some into suitcases you can see behind me I've already sorted through some those are ones that I might have to use in the next couple of weeks so I've left those there because they can be hung up this is the state of the bedroom please don't judge me it's not normally like this so this all looks you know completely normal that's just the bed but here we used to have this massive like triple wardrobe which I gave away for free on Facebook marketplace because we didn't need it anymore. Our new place should have a built-in wardrobe so we had no need for it and I thought I'd give it away for free in case someone needs it more than we do. We've got these three drawers. They're currently full of clothes so I think I'm going to try to pack some more clothes into them before I take them to storage. So I've got a pile there to go through, some are quills actually so I might have to wait for him to come home. And then this chest of drawers is also going to go into storage but I think we're going to need the van for that. So I'm going to go through some of the clothes in the drawers, these three are mine, and then figure out which clothes I'm going to need Oh, hello. She has no idea what's going on. Figure out which clothes I'm going to need in the next couple of weeks and then put the rest in storage. I've also got some clothes in there that I need to sort out as well, but I think most of those clothes will be coming with me because it's like underwear and stuff. So yeah, first of all, I'm gonna go through these and then I'm going to go through those. Octavia, are you gonna help? She's feeling a bit antsy because everything keeps moving. She does not like the furniture moving about. You're no help at all. So I'm going to start going through these now and then I will let you know how I get on in a bit. Okay, so I filled up those boxes. I didn't bother putting any of the clothes in. I actually put bedding in instead and I've still got all of, all of this bedding and towels to do something with. So I need to figure out what it is I'm going to do with those, I think. We do have some boxes, so I think I'm going to put them in boxes and then maybe wrap our plates in them. That should hopefully protect them. So now that I've done that, I'm going to show you quickly what the library room looks like because it looks entirely different now. I've only shown you this a couple of times. I was going to do a full library room tour, but we weren't in the house for long enough to be able to do that. So this is what it currently looks like. So this is my reading chair and where I film. That's my TBR shelf and then these are the books that I recently spoke about in videos. So I used to have two big Billy bookshelves here but we've dismantled those and then here we've got some boxes to, well, bags of things to put away. There's just like a bunch of envelopes for when I send things and then a printer down there as well. This is our computer. We need to leave this up for the next few days and we're not putting the computer into storage because it's really freaking expensive but this will be going into storage and so will the desk. The desk also has a ton of stuff 
in there it's all of my photos and scrapbooking stuff which again is a hobby that i was going to pick up before covid i think we can probably move this desk with everything stood in the boxes so i'm not going to bother taking those out this room is pretty much aside from those books actually as empty as it can be because this is going to have to go into storage when we get the van on friday same with that bookcase although that might be able to go in one of the cars and then those things over there we can take in the car and then going over here we have the <laughs> room of boxes so we've been collecting boxes for the past few months because we knew we were buying a house we have some cosmetics there that can go away it's all like sun cream and things that we're not going to need because we're not going away underneath we have all of my books those can definitely go into storage we have the dismantled bookshelves as you can see we're going to need the van for those so those can't go yet the fan we'll probably need to go in the van and then it's just like empty boxes for when we pack up the kitchen and some bubble wrap and things so this room is probably going to stay like this for a bit although there are some boxes here that we can take to storage already without the van so due to all of that i think what i'm going to focus on today is putting the rest of those books away that you saw because i don't need most of those i'm going to also grab a few things from the kitchen i'm just walking downstairs so i'm going to show you the living room and the state of it at the moment if it'll focus <laughs> we used to have a bunch of dvds but we've boxed all those up apart from these ones because we're not sure if we want to get rid of them obviously the TV that's staying up until Friday. We have some clothes here that we're going to donate, some clothes here that will need to go into storage, we can get rid of those. The Hoover will go into storage but we need it for now because we need to tidy up. And then just a few things over there and then this is my working area which is also a mess at the moment. Um, there's a box of cleaning supplies which we need and then everything else is just like my work stuff and junk so that's fine and then we've also taken down the swing and there's not really much in the garden we've got a few things in the shed like painting and decorating things but otherwise the garden is fine we don't need to do anything with that so i'm going to go and look at those books now because i feel like i can put some of them away i'm sorry it's so dark it's a really dark hallway so these are the books that i'm sorting out these are in my october tbr so i'm taking those with me just in case i get a chance to look at them these are the ones that i want to read by the end of the year so i think i might take those with me as well or at least some of them i'm really Really keen to read the water knife very soon so i'm definitely going to take that one i think my main problem is that i don't know how long i'm going to be away for because we're leaving our stuff in storage in one town and then moving to another temporarily so my problem is i don't know when i'm going to need these books and then here we have a pile of things that i recently hauled i can definitely put some of these into storage so i'm not going to read these anytime soon and then there are a few there at the top as well so i'm going to sort through these quickly and i'll let you know which ones i'm keeping with me Okay, so these are the ones that I've decided to keep with me. They're the ones from my October TBR. And then also, like I said, really excited to read this one. This one's quite short, so I've decided to keep that one with me as well. Foundry side I was supposed to read in August, so I kind of want to keep that with me in case I get a chance to read it. And then Shadow of the Wind, I'm kind of in the mood for, to be honest, so I'm gonna keep that with me as well. So then, moving over to this bookshelf, which is a bit of a mess at the moment. This is the outstanding September TBR so I'm going to try to get to most of those apart from this one actually I can put this one away somewhere on this shelf we've just got a couple of books I can definitely put that away because I keep meaning to read it but I'm probably not going to so that can go on the away pile and then down here we've just got a few that I was going to try to get to but I probably won't anymore ignore these these are quills from another time i was going to try to read these two before october but i've heard bad things about them so i don't know if i'm going to now so i'm going to put all of these ones away in storage and then here we have a bunch of books i'm giving away so these ones are going to charity these ones i'm going to recap and then give to charity so i'm going to try my best to do that this week but it's yeah but i'm going to get to as many as possible and then that will be all of them it's such a tiny pile i'm obviously also taking my kindle so i won't be completely without books if I do want to read something else. What is going on with this camera? <laughs> so I've made a tiny bit more progress and I've had lunch so I'm feeling quite good. There's only so much I can do at the moment because obviously I don't have access to the storage locker yet so I can't actually move anything out of the house so I need to wait for Quill to do the check-in for the storage locker and then we can start actually moving stuff but this is what the library room is now looking like. We've got the Xbox box where we go put the gaming consoles in there. Here's the chair which I can't move until we get the truck lorry 
van, whatever you want to call it. I took the bookshelf downstairs. Again, these are books that I need to recap and these are books that I am giving away to a charity shop. So I need to go into town at some point this week and take those. That's just documentation that we definitely need. That's a pile of things that I need to go through and sort. It's mostly bookmarks and photos. Here is my September TBR and there's my October TBR. Then we've got a notebook, uh, some of Quill's weights. This is my old lighting that I need to throw away because it's completely broken. We can't fix it. So we're going to have to bin it. This is almost clear. And then here I've taken a few bags downstairs. So we've only got the printer, which I'm going to take downstairs now. Then we've got some filing stuff, which we are keeping with us. We're not putting that into storage in case anything happens to it because it's quite important. This, which obviously has to stay here until Friday. The room isn't looking too bad. Like it's quite messy, but I've taken down pretty much everything that I can at the moment. These books will be going into a suitcase probably this evening or maybe tomorrow. I just need to figure out which ones I'm going to be reading for the rest of this week. So that's how that's looking. I think I'm going to take a few more things downstairs just to put them down there. Then I'm going to do a quick hoover the first of many, I'm sure. And then I'm going to take a quick break and watch some YouTube videos, I think, because like I said, there's not really much I can do because we're still living here for the next four days. So I can't pack up anything for the kitchen and I can't take anything out of the house yet. So I'm just kind of waiting, but I feel restless. So I feel like I need to pack up a few more things if I can. Okay, so it's now Tuesday and I'm going to end the vlog today just so I can start another one in a couple of days because otherwise these vlogs are going to be very repetitive. So last night we did the first run to the storage container, storage unit, whatever you want to call it. And it was a success. We got rid of quite a lot of stuff. I'll show you actually. First of all, in the storage container is so easy to use. I can talk about this more in another video if you want me to, if you want to know kind of the details on the what's required for a storage unit. But basically you show up, put your pin in, which you get beforehand. Hand. the big door opens then you go through a smaller door and you grab some trolleys and we took two trolleys worth of stuff which was like a bookcase no two bookcases and then a few smaller boxes you put everything in the lift if you need to go upstairs and then you just drag your or push your trolley to your storage container we got one that was apparently the size of a one bedroom flat or that will fit the contents of a one bedroom flat. I'm not sure if that's legit because we don't have much furniture and it doesn't really seem big enough, but we're going to stack things up and you know, we'll make it work. So I found that quite exciting actually. And I've decided that the reason I'm not going to vlog up until Friday now is that it's just every evening we're going to be taking stuff to the storage unit and then coming home. So there's not really going to be much more to vlog at the moment because it's just going to be boxes. So I'll just show you quickly the state of everything right now as of Tuesday morning. And then I'll show you again on Friday and then I'll also do an empty house tour. So stay tuned for that. So this is the ex library room. As you can see, the books are gone apart from the ones that I'm donating. The bags over there are gone. We've just got our filing units there. In the storage room, we got rid of a lot of boxes. So that's good and then quickly taking you downstairs this is what it currently looks like so as you can see these bookshelves are gone and then a few of the boxes that were there so these are my boxes of books that i need to get rid of we're going to take two over this evening plus maybe those and some other stuff back there is a box of bedding so we're going to fill that up with some kitchen stuff that we won't need for the next couple of days so we are making some progress except we're not really making any progress with the actual house because no one's gotten back to us about a date or exchange of contracts yet but we're chasing that up and hopefully they'll get back to us soon because it is really stressing us out but at least our stuff is being stored so we don't have to worry about that for a while so i'm going to end the vlog here thank you so much for watching if you're new here please like and subscribe i do normally do book videos but i decided to start doing some lifestyle moving videos because i'm meant to be purchasing a house and it's meant to be like the most exciting time except it's just turning out to be stressful so thank you for watching and i'll speak to you all in the next video bye